celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> Hey everybody, here I am. I'm Alex Bennett and this is The Ramble. It goes on uh, from now until, uh, I don't know, it goes, on, it goes on until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, if you're anywhere in the world and uh, you look at your clock and it says uh, that it's uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time on the east coast of the United States then uh, you're probably listening to this live. I mean, if you're in China, I think there's a 12-hour difference in China now. In fact, the whole country of China, you know, has the same, same time zone. Uh, so it would be uh, oh, about 6 after 10 in the morning in China, okay? Uh, so just adapt for that, and you can tell whether it's live or not. And if it's not live, then you're listening to a rebroadcast uh, on our 24-7-hour feed, which you, by the way can access by going to gabnet.net. You just click on the thing that, uh, uh, that says, uh, what does it say? I can't even remember what it says. Anyway, it says something about click here to get our 24 seven feed. And you click on that and uh, you can just hear the signal anytime you want to. Or you can do that on your iPhone. Or you can, you can go to, you can go to um, um, uh, tune in on, uh, on your iPhone or your iPad in order to get us live. Uh, the, what I say live is it's the live feed. It's the 24/7 feed that we do that uh, uh, that uh, is uh, uh, going constantly. Okay, so this is my program followed by Damien's program followed by and and over and over and over again an endless cycle until we go live again at like 9:30 at night most nights with uh, Damien and the. Uh, and the, inter and the uh, exchange. By the way, you should be listening to Damien. It's, it's such a great show, such a good show. And um, uh, he doesn't do much to promote it and so on, and we try to give it a plug here and there. Uh, but I really want you to listen to it because uh, it, to begin with, he's the lead in to us, and we like a nice good lead in uh, of audience. And he's also, he's really terrific. He's just terrific uh, and uh, does a great job. Anyway, uh, let me see here. What what else is new? Uh, I got I got something I'm going to play for you. Let me tell you what I did. I was trying to think of ways to promote the show. Okay, uh, get a little internet savvy. And the one thing that I realized is biggest on the on the internet uh, is uh, our short programs. Uh, that people, you know, here we've got two hours, and people, if they want to enjoy it, have to sit in for the long haul. Now. Maybe if you're driving to work and it's a long commute, uh, hey, it's a good way to pass your time away by tuning us in on our 24-7 feed or on any of the number of feeds we have. Uh, uh, if you're driving around right now and you can get the Internet in your car, it's not a bad thing to listen to for a couple of hours. But a couple of hours is, is by today's standards, exceptionally long, okay, because... Uh, what really goes over now are three, four, five-minute shows, right? And uh, 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 a good example would be that on a Sunday on Family Guy, uh, there's a whole, it's a whole show about the Internet and so on, and they come up with the six-second show. And uh, they do a show in six seconds. And it becomes a major hit on the Internet. It just becomes viral, the six-second show. And I think it has a lot to do with uh, the fact that, you know, we don't have the same um, uh, um, attention span that we once had. There was used to be a thing years ago, a joke. It was, on, uh, it was on some comedy show, and it was called Short Attention Span Theater. And it, you know, assumed an attention span of maybe 10, 15 minutes. Today, you've got to assume an attention span of something like three or four minutes. And if you look at the stuff that's the biggest hit on the on the internet in the way of podcasts and so on, they're very short. They just you know they they're in, they're out, and nobody gets hurt. 
And uh, that's something I'm not used to. I'm used to a long form. I'm used. I I don't know what I would do if you gave me uh, like three minutes. Okay. I mean, I probably figure something out, but it's not what I was trained to do. I was trained to do the. I was trained to run the marathon. Okay. I wasn't trained to run the hundred yard dash. It's and there there is that difference, you know. So I decided I should come up with something of a short form every day that I could use to promote the show and that might get me some viewers. Now, lately, what I do is I post this show on, uh, on uh, Facebook and I post it on YouTube and I post it on Roxio, and, or Vimeo rather, Roxio, oh, that's an old company, Vimeo. Uh, I post it on uh, Livestream uh, and uh, all of those, uh, you know, I get, you know, not a lot of, it, it, I used to get more people when I was doing Facebook because for some reason Facebook people will always just try it, you know, and then they might move on to something else when their attention span is waned. But uh, when I put these things up on, uh, on my Facebook page, you know, maybe I get, I'm getting like 40 or 50 people, maybe tops that are watching these things. And today, what was it on the... Uh, on one of the shows, in fact, I, I've, I've considered not even posting them at all. It's a waste of my time. Uh, but, uh, oh, 41 people watched one of them, and then the other one was watched by, uh, hold on a second. For some reason, Facebook is very slow today. I don't know if you've noticed that. Boy, am I glad we're not doing our show on Facebook. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, another one, 27 and 41 okay for the same basic video and uh, th that's it you know for people who watched it on my Facebook page boy this Facebook page is really screwed amazing boy I've got to got to reboot that uh, anyway uh, and then I put up my uh, my my thingy my I, I, I put up this new thing that I did which is only 10 minutes long, and I'm almost at 100 views, and that's in a period of, uh, of eight hours, okay? But nevertheless, it's 100 views, and it'll probably get up to about 120, 130. Yesterday, I think it got up to about 140. And all it is is a very simple show, okay? Uh, and uh, people go, oh, well, I'll watch that. It, 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 yesterday's was six minutes. Today's was 10 minutes. Uh, and um, I'm wondering if maybe I'm I should I should shorten it a bit that I'm taking too long with it, uh, and and the idea, basic idea behind it is is I do headlines. I just do the news. I do all the headlines of the day. Make a quick comment. Go on to the next headline. Just short one paragraph uh, headlines, and then I uh, I, I throw in. Uh, Hopefully, if I can find one, a picture of some sort for the day. Yesterday, it was Mitt Romney and his Amazon tuxedo. And today, it was, uh, it, well, you'll see what it is in a moment. And uh, so I did it all, and it came out to, it came out to 10 minutes. And really, I, I, that's too long. I want it to be more like six minutes. But we're working on it. We're working on it, folks. Uh, so... Um, what I thought I'd do to start off the show tonight is show you today's episode so you can see what you get. I'm, I'm going to try and knock one of these off every day, but I've been getting rather flustered at the fact that people don't seem to be watching the ramble that much. I mean, there are certain areas I can't check out, but it's, it's, not, it's not huge. And a lot of it has to do because we went to YouTube, and YouTube does not have, with, with Facebook, when you do a show, uh, on the walls of everybody's thing, it says Alex is doing a show now. He's live, and that goes out to about oh I don't know, five thousand people I've got, or maybe it just goes out to the followers, which is like sixteen, seventeen hundred. But then after the show is over, when I look, I've got something like three hundred people who watch the show. Uh, with YouTube, I'm lucky if it gets up to a hundred. Okay. Uh, because apparently there isn't there isn't something that tells everybody, hey, uh, Alex is about to go on on uh, on uh, uh, on YouTube. So that's our problem. But anyway, so where am I? So l let me. Uh, so I I decide to do the short show, and see if we can build an audience for that, and what will happen with that. 
And I thought I would let you see today's episode, since I'm lazy and have nothing else better to do with this uh, first half hour. So here is what our daily um, podcast looks like. Hi, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and it's time for our daily news break. Here I am. How are you? Uh, this little thing we're doing every day, kind of just a shorty, going to be like about five minutes long, maybe six minutes long. And to just tell you what some of the daily news items are, and then also to uh, play a clip from last night's show and a few other little things. But it's time to look at the news right now. President Donald Trump said Thursday his meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will uh, take place in June. Uh, that's about a month from now. The highly anticipated meeting between Kim Jong-un and himself will take at the place in Singapore. They were looking for a lot of different places to do it. The DMZ was completely out of the question, I guess, for one reason or another. So uh, Kim Jong-un is going to have to travel outside of his comfort zone and go to Singapore, which is about as neutral a place as you can find. He says, we will both try to make it a very special moment for world peace. Uh, if, you, if you think about it, Kim Jong-un is getting exactly what he wanted. He held on to those prisoners as collateral. And uh, when he needed them, he let them go. And as I said yesterday, you know, three less mouths to feed in Korea uh, in a country that's starving is not a bad idea. So basically, so far, Trump is paying, being played for a chump or the Trump chump, as we'd like to call him. The announcement comes after three Americans uh, detained in North Korea arrived at Andrews Air Force Base on Thursday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, and the president was there. I guess this man never sleeps, uh, or either that or he's awake all night and is a vampire. Anyway, uh, 28 uh, more illnesses caused by a coli outbreak try, uh, tied to the tainted romaine lettuce were reported by U.S. health officials on Wednesday. So far, a total of 149 cases caused by a particularly virulent strain of E. coli, which usually comes from, like, uh, animal crap, um, have been reported. So uh, if uh, keep away from the romaine lettuce. I think they say most of it came out of, if I remember correctly, out of Arizona. But, you know, how do you know when you're shopping at the store? Probably if you go to the store, they don't have romaine lettuce right now. Uh, because nobody's buying it. Senate Democrats and a single Republican moved to force a vote to restore net neutrality protections on Wednesday. A group of senators led by Democratic leader Chuck Schumer uh, and uh, Senator Edward J. Markey of Massachusetts filed to a discharge petition necessary to trigger a vote to overrule the Federal Communications Commission decision to revoke the Obama-era protections. Revoking net neutrality means that my, like my little show like this might not get to you quite as easily as it used to because certain people will be given preference to the use of the Internet, which I like to think of as a wholly democratic, uh, probably the most democratic uh, and egalitarian um, a system that we have in this country, and we got to fight for net neutrality, okay? Uh, the Ford Motor Company announced Wednesday it's temporarily going to halt the uh, production of F 150s. That's one of the most popular cars, uh, its truck, and it, it, due to a U.S. factory's uh, 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 fire at one of its parts suppliers. One of the parts suppliers had a fire, and they can't get the parts for the damn thing. The production will be suspended at Ford plants in Dearborn, Michigan, Kansas City, Missouri, and at the company's plant in Louisville, Kentucky. Production will be decreased. It's not yet clear whether the 150 production will ever return to normal levels, but I guess uh, we'll find out. And uh, by the way, California always likes to lead the pack, and they do a wonderful job of it. Um, they like to lead the pack in uh, uh, in in just all the things that are right. Uh, they got pot out there, and uh, they want to take care of immigrants, and uh, it's a good state. I'm glad I'm from there. I wish I were back there, because at least they have a humane quality to them, all under Pat Brown, who has a, is very much a humanist. Uh, California became the first state to require all new homes to be built with solar panels Wednesday after a vote by the state's Energy Commission. Hooray for California. 
they voted five to nothing to add a requirement to the state's building code. It goes into effect January 1st, 2020, and includes all condominiums and apartment buildings uh, up to three stories high. So this means solar panels, folks, solar panels. Uh, it's, it's a step forward, let's face it. And um, in the picture this today uh, that we have for you, uh, this is almost eerily spooky. You would think that this, in fact, were the happy royal couple uh, that are about to be married, uh, Prince Harry and um, Mar uh, Mrs. Markle, or Ms. Markle, uh, and uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is them, but no, it's not them. Uh, this is the version of them at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in London. Looks eerily good, doesn't it? Usually those wax museum uh, figures don't look as realistic as this, but there they are. Uh, and uh, uh, congratulations to them and uh, the happy couple who are going to be getting married soon. Uh, last night on the uh, Ramble, we got into a whole discussion for most of the show about all the ways in which our lives are being impacted and uh, interrupted by things like robocalls and things on, it, on the Internet. Like I, I commented that Facebook, uh, you know, it's great at going after the Russians, but it doesn't do anything about the fact that how many times on your messenger, on Facebook, have you gotten a notice recently that from some friend saying, hey, go do this thing, and it's some kind of like commercial thing. I did this, and it's terrific. And, uh, and, and then you go to that, and of course, then you get a hold of your friend, and you say, did you send me this thing? And then he goes, no, I never sent that to you. I've had several people write me and say, did you get this message about you know, some kind of offer that you liked? And uh, uh, I've, I've said, no, I, I didn't do that. I didn't send that to you. Why doesn't Facebook do something about that? They go after the Russians, okay? They're going to hurt us less than these people who are trying to scam us, okay? And by the way, I have 500 people as uh, uh, friends on Facebook. Uh, I'm only allowed 500, so nobody else can get on. If you go under 500, all of a sudden you get, you're getting uh, requests to be friends with a bunch of hookers. Facebook doesn't do anything about that, so that was my major complaint last night. But, you know, our old friend Patrick had a way of solving the whole damn thing. What I've, what I've done, I mean, I've, you guys know that I've done the foreign uh, uh, orgasm thing in the past. What? And, <laughs> well, explain that to them, because they're all, they're all looking at you with quizzical looks. Well, I use a fart. And, 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 so, and by the way, every guy hands above the table while he tells his story. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that I know that I I told it on it now that what I've done on a few of these idiots that call for either the IRS or whatever it is, if I tell them just a minute, let me go talk with my girlfriend, and then I will put on on my computer. I I found them uh, on some uh, free uh, sounds or whatever, and it, it a woman having an orgasm. So I will I have that um, stored as a file. Uh, <laughs> I and what I do is I put my phone down right by the speaker on the uh, computer, hit play, and let the orgasm go through, and <laughs> You know, and eventually they hang up. Oh, eventually, eventually they hang up. <laughs> and that was our, uh, our a cut from our show last night. Patrick is always an absolute delight, and uh, we love having him here uh, uh, whenever we can. By the way, I uh, want to remind you that we are live every night with uh, uh, the uh, uh, Ramble from, uh, let's see here, from 10 until midnight. And you can find it if you uh, want to watch it by going to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett live, forward slash live. Uh, that's the address right there. Okay. Uh, and um, 
If you put that, uh, if uh, you actually go to that page, you can make it a tab on your browser, and it'll be there all the time. And if you if you notice on that page, there's a countdown to the next show. When the next show goes on, that page will automatically become active with the show. So if you want to watch the ramble tonight, that's a good way to do it. Uh, we're also on Roku, of course, and we're also posting this on our, uh, you know, our show on the Facebook page and on YouTube itself after the shows are over. But if you want to see it live. That's where you go each and every night, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll really love having you as a, uh, as, as a viewer. We're very appreciative of anybody that wants to be a viewer. Anyway, we hope you'll join us. And by the way, while you're at YouTube, uh, be sure to subscribe to us. That, uh, that's a great deal of help to us. Uh, that's it for right now. Uh, we have no more, uh, and we'll see you again uh, tomorrow with another Alex Bennett News Break. And that's what it looks like. Uh, there are a couple of problems that we had. Number one was with the audio on the uh, clip of the group, but that's because I had something switched wrong. But uh, that'll, that'll be solved tomorrow. Uh, and uh, let's see here. And I also uh, made, oh, God, a big mistake. I said I had 5,000 or 500 uh, viewers, uh, you know, followers on, uh, not followers, but uh, friends on, uh, on my Facebook page, and that was the most you could have. Actually, I meant to say 5,000, but I'm an old man, and I make mistakes like that, and fuck you, okay? So, but there are only two mistakes on that, and I, I kind of was happy with that one today, and as it develops, you know, I'll probably start getting having more fun with the news, and I do want to make it just a tad shorter, you know? I want to make it like, I want to make it so you go there, and hey, you only you got six, seven minutes, and that's it. You get all the major headlines uh of the day or or interesting stories yeah maybe we get a little photo in there of something weird or goofy uh and uh then you know whatever so uh that's uh that's our uh that's our little thing we're doing now and it's called the alex bennett news break and we will try and do it every single day uh it's going to be a little hard because some days during the middle of the day i'm doing an interview with like bubs or uh my wife or whatever but uh, I'll just have to learn to do things a little, maybe a little earlier, uh, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and get them, uh, get them up earlier uh, and do the show, th this little thing earlier. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and do it every day. Uh, it, 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 but I want to make it shorter. I do want to make it shorter than that. But I liked it that it was long this time because I didn't have to worry about yeah, spending a lot of time talking right now. Anyway. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me open up Skype uh, first of all, uh, and uh, I got to get rid of uh, some some of the people that were on the last night. Clear that up, and then I got. You know, I wish the other shows would clean up Skype after they're through using it, but they don't. So I have to. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me turn on the Skype. There we go. Now it's online, and I have more people that I have to erase from this thing. Okay, there we go. All righty. Okay, we're ready to go. If, you, if you're if you ready to go and you're ready to call us, uh, we'll know when the first person is calling because we'll get that familiar Skype sound of somebody calling. Uh, if you want to call us, by the way, uh, on the phone, there is a phone number, and it's over there at gabnet.net, and I'll read it to you, but if you ever want it, just go over to the right-hand side of the page. The bottom is a number, and it's 347-352-0079, 347-352-0079. That way you can use a telephone. We'd prefer you use Skype, and if you want to learn how to use Skype, just go to gabnet.net over on the right-hand side of the page. It's a very simple tutorial to tell you how to put it on your computer, how to fire it up and how to give us a call. And uh, speaking of people giving us a call, our first caller of the night, ladies and gentlemen, and the winner of the microwave oven uh, is, uh, uh, there he is. I, I, I wanted the toaster. You wanted the toaster? Yeah, I'll call back. Oh, okay, well, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you don't get the toaster, okay? Yeah. That's, uh, the story, that's the story of my life. So, uh, how are you this evening, my friend? Uh, good. I had a nice dinner out with uh, another friend and Faye. Yeah. We went to Hercules, and uh, there they're serving up uh, raw oysters, uh, buck and oyster. 
So we got uh, two dozen oysters and a couple of salads and a, a buck an oyster, buck an oyster, and they're nice big oysters, you know, different kinds. Do you Blue know something though? Uh, 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 you know, you may not know this, but uh, 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 oysters have the ability to hear sound. Hmm. Uh, did you know that? No, they uh, 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 are they being counted as listeners uh, at uh, GabNet uh, now. Well, well, yeah, but you know what kind of noise a noise an oyster? <laughs> no, tell me. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. I always <laughs> like that. For some reason, I don't do that. I always like that. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, right. one, of my, one of my favorite. It's the only oyster joke I know. That's why you got the. Uh, the, the dot, dot, yeah, dot. Okay, here we go. Oops. Oh, there we go. There, there's a Jeff. Hello, Jeff. I want Phil's camera. You want Phil's camera? Why your yeah. ca your camera? I have a, I have a standard. Uh, it's a Logitech, I think nine thirty C or something. No, it's a six thirty C. No, no, it's the one for the Mac. It's it's the nine twenty or nine thirty C. One for the Mac. They're all for the Mac. Um, they all work on the Mac. This I bought at the Mac store. The guy said this is. Uh, I don't want to scare anybody. Uh, By the way, your light is fluctuating like crazy, uh, Jeff, because you've got that light in back of you. you know, oh, if, the, uh, if you could turn yeah. your camera a little bit so that the light isn't in, you know, the other way. The other way. There we go. Then we can see you. Now, if you could move into that center of that picture, then everything would be fine. Is there a way you can do that? Yeah, you're in a... Are you in a huh? Is the left side good? The left side is, it, it, well, no, there we get more lights. Just do it no. right there, right there. No, move back. I'm going to no. turn the light up. Okay, turn that one off. Okay, yeah. Because uh, what it what it does is it, it uh, because he it, you've got, what you've got to do, folks, many times is there's a, I think there is a, a thing you can use in your, in your camera that will tell it how not to uh go for the for the brightest light or whatever but that's yeah that's fine that's perfect yeah, yeah. that's perfect oh, oops, oops yeah oh getting a headache here noise <laughs> sound. Uh, you want another rim shot that, no i don't need another <laughs> rim shot so you know just when i'm getting tired of of wor working this thing too much i suddenly give myself another duty well, I, I liked it. I actually listened to it earlier. It was posted on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, earlier this afternoon, and it gave a notification. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I um, listened to it and watched it off and on on the way to the, uh, in the car on the way to the uh, restaurant. Oh, really? Okay. And um, yeah, it, was, it was a good interview. And then uh, as I was getting back here, I knew I was a little bit late. I figured, all right, uh, let me see what's going on. And yeah. it was the same thing I had listened to. So I. Uh, yeah. But I thought full, I'd, full I thought, participation. I thought I'd play it for people. It sets up the show anyway, so you know. Yeah. Uh, it, the only uh, the only issue is that uh, it didn't come from the uh, honorary Meyer Studio. No, uh, I, I still have yet to get to that worked right, working right. I tested it the other day, but what I've got is I've got a, a problem in there with my with my speed on the internet. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. because it's wireless. Well, it is wired, but the wire I put in originally was a lower speed wire than the one I probably should have going in there now. Uh -huh. And I didn't wire everything to begin with going out of this router into other switchers that is at a higher speed. So uh, it it becomes a bit of a problem, you know. So. Uh, 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 for instance, I didn't have any problem uh, doing the show and getting the video out and all of that. But when it came to Skype, I was getting a lot of lag and stuff like that. So, I see. you know, I still got to work things out in that studio. Uh, uh, would you be using Skype to uh, to do that recording since you don't have anybody calling in? Well, yeah, no, I, oh, oh, that recording. No, I could do that one in there. You know, yeah. that's just doing a recording, basically. But it's easier for me to do it in here. Everything's in here. I have all the things set up so that I can, I have a whole, on OBS it allows you to have different sessions. And so I set up one for the news that has all the images that I use in the news and all the 
components uh, I use in the newscast. So. And, of course, you can have your green screen in the uh I'm not the getting studio. a fucking green screen. Where would <laughs> I put it, Phil? Well, you put it against the wall. And, no, you know, you, know like how, you, know how, you know how far back that wall is from me? How, how no. big a green screen I would have to put up? And then my question is, once I put up the green screen, I have to take it down every time I want to leave the room. Put it on grommets, get a couple of hooks that go on the wall, and you just hang it. I don't want it. It's too much trouble. Why? What am I going to do with it? Yeah, well, then you'd have a real professional podcast. No, like no. It, 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 podcasts aren't supposed to be professional, okay? They really aren't. I mean, what what is simpler or better than a podcast, you know? That's said by the Emmy Award winning. Uh, no, I mean, I think simplicity is is much more important. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what would I do with what, what would I do with a with a green screen? What would I put back there? There, yeah. there's a there's a guy that makes podcasts that uh, does. Um, I don't photo give a shit podcasts. what other people do. And his, I his, don't give that, a shit. Did you hear me? I don't give a shit what other people do. It's, it's not my friend. It's somebody else I know, but I don't. I, I don't still don't give, give a shit what other people do. All right, uh, but his podcasts are the most professional. Uh, oh, wonderful! He, then they're TV. Go do yeah, TV. Yeah, go put them on is, a. Go put them on a TV station somewhere. I mean, what I was doing originally when I was doing it out of my friend's studio was as professional a looking show as you could possibly do. Oh yeah. Absolutely. You know, but it wasn't a podcast. It didn't have the simplicity, you know. Why should a podcast be simple? Because, I mean, it, it basically, well, to begin with, one of the reasons I just mentioned to you that uh, if, you're, if you're too long, if you go too long, I mean, the shorter you are, the more people you're going to get watching. I just hit 100 people on that little stupid thing I did at 3 o'clock this afternoon. I don't know if that's true. I'm 5'8", and I don't get a lot of people watching. What? I'm, you said the shorter you are. No, the, the more shorter the casts are, the podcasts are. <laughs> okay. You know? Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So. Are you still 58? Are you still 5'8? Um, you know, I probably shrunk a half an inch or so. Uh, although I'm close enough. I, I still I still claim five eight, just like uh, you know guys who claim MS thirteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, um, uh, you know, so I I but, uh, but all I'm saying is that I think that I'm 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 looking to actually make a thing shorter. I really want it to be like I want it to come in at a, no more than six minutes. The one yesterday was six minutes. Then so it, what would you do with it? You wouldn't put it on this show. You'd. Just stick it up on the uh, right. YouTube. Right, it just goes up on YouTube. It's and it's kind of a promotion for this show, you know, yeah. and for Gabnet in general. You know, so yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see if it if it gets any kind of traction. I doubt it, but at least I'm getting you know um, uh, over a hundred people a day that watch it, which is more than watching the stuff this show when I put it on my Facebook page. I'm thinking of stopping posting my show on the Facebook page. Be honest Don't with you. Don't stop it. Unless it takes time, uh, too much time for you to post it. A any time is too much time in my life right now. You know, as the days in your life start waning, okay. every minute that you spend doing something else is a minute left not living. Did you notice um, that when you were a kid, summers took forever? Years took forever. I mean, summers took forever when I was a kid. Summer was the place when we didn't have school, and before right. you knew it, you know. Well, I, I found that uh, uh, time went much slower uh, as I was younger. Maybe it's the proportionate yeah. amount of life that I'd lived. Yeah. But now, years go by in a flash, and they're, and they're going by faster and faster. Yeah, well, I, uh, I'm trying to be, do nothing, so they go by slower. You know, so I get bored. Who? SG, hello. How oh, you he's called before. What? He's called before. Yeah, well, I'm trying to remember what SG stands for. It's somebody we know. He said his name is just SG. SG, is your name just SG? Yeah, SG. SG? SG. SG. <laughs> no, not SG. SG. Well, listen, like we, lo we, lo we know you work out. Now, can you show us what the results of that are by showing us your picture? 
Uh, yeah, sure. You're, Later. You're, just turn your camera on. Just turn your camera on. All right. All right. Keep talking, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Hello. Okay. How are you doing, Phil? Are you doing good? How about you, Jeff? You doing hey, all right? Jeff, blah, blah, what are blah, those blah, blah, uh, pieces of art behind you? Uh, uh, they like uh, Roman uh, archways and English doors and things like that? That's uh, Pratt Institute in uh -huh. uh, New York. Yeah. And, and in Brooklyn. And my son's an architect. S S uh, oh, look, SG's flexing for us, ladies and gentlemen. For the ladies. For the ladies. Something for the ladies tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies. SG, show, them, show them that peck again or that uh, yeah. whatever it is. That's, uh, do you, you do work out, though, huh? I do work out, yeah. Why, well, do, you, why, do, you work out? why do you work out? Because I have a philosophy that I've lived by, and it served me okay because I'm 78 years old. Uh, and don't have too much wrong with me, knock on wood at this time, uh, uh, that if you don't use your body, it won't wear out. Hey, you know what? Uh, it's interesting that you say that because uh, on The Apprentice, when Trump said to Lou Ferrigno, the reason you are so uh, have so many problems is because you work out. So you and Trump have a lot in common. Well, in that respect, I kind of agree with him because everybody I know, like girlfriend, my wife, she'd mm -hmm. go, if, if she weren't working, she'd be in the gym every day. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and she used to like to run, and she bicycled, and she did all of that. Guess what? Fucking back is ruined. Okay, she her her back is like this mangled mess, which she's managed to somehow survive with. Aren't you supposed to say that her back is ruined for other reasons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got to her before I did. Anyway, uh, 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 on the way to dinner tonight. Yeah. Uh, I had at 3:30 this afternoon. I had a special chiropractor give me an adjustment. This Nuka chiropractor upper upper cervical. Uh, I was feeling pretty good. On the way to dinner, I'm stopped at a red light, and this guy rear ends me. It was very very slow. He didn't do any damage to my car or his car, but I got jolted. And you know, I said to him, I just spent 115 dollars for a chiropractic adjustment, and now you you slam me in the rear. He said, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. But, but I'm wait a minute, wait a minute. If it, you know, this is what I hate about chiropractic. I always argue with girlfriends. She wants me to go to this chiropractor because of my numb feet, okay? That he can do a, a manipulation that will help take care of that. Right? Yes, he can. Right? Mm -hmm. And But first I have to go get like an x-ray or something. Yes, you and, do. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess that's so it gets him off the hook or something. No. I don't know. No. It's so he can see what's going on with your spine and see whether you have any other well, damage. Well, my question there that is number one: him damaging you. You know why isn't this so-called doctor, this chiropractor, why yeah. doesn't he have the ability to order up something as simple as an X-ray? <laughs> why do I have to go to my doctor and have my doctor order up the X-ray? That, that's simple. He doesn't have the machine. No, it isn't a question he doesn't have the machine. I had to go to my regular doctor to have him get make out the prescription for me to get the x-ray for the chiropractor. That might be let a New York let me thing. Tell you, let me tell you, when I go to the gym and I, yeah. I'm on an inclined bench and I get and I'm doing some with uh, dumbbells, I can feel my back just... You're talking about of, us again? Huh? You dumbbells, you're talking about us again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel my back go, and it's beautiful, and it's just like it's just. Would you tell? Me, would you give us that sound that again? My, that, that, that is my chiropractor, and it's just great. Well, it just works for me. That you know. Yeah. Well, all I know is that I, uh, you know, then she comes home the other day and she was sick or something. So her doctor, her chiropractor, gave her some pills to take one every hour. And I look at the bottle, and it says, you know, dietary supplement. You know, oh, yeah, well, I mean, give, I'm sorry. I, if I got a pain, I want to go to somebody who can give me some good stuff to really make me feel like it doesn't hurt. You know? No kidding. Yeah. You know, I get a little, I have a little tooth problem lately. I take the ibuprofen. Everything's fine. I, well, but I, but I, had, I take a vitamin, no, and it doesn't get any a, better. I, there's a deal in our family where one of our members took too much ibuprofen and then got ulcers. Really? Well, ulcers, yep. I, I take the real heavy ibuprofen. Uh, I, my problem was I got a, a, a kidney stone. It, it, basically, it can give you kidney stones. But right. I, I right. only take it when I really need it. So, you know. 
we think the 800s yeah yeah the, 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 the coding the whole no 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 huh? no but i don't like you know it's funny i don't like getting high that much any longer uh if yeah. if i well uh, okay. i'm a friend of mine who, who gets edibles from colorado and he says it's a 12 hour high well, you know, I want one. I, 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 I if if, you, if I'm going to get high, I want to know that in an hour I'm going to be able to clear my head and go do. No, something. but you know, the thing with edibles is that it it takes about an hour or two or so to actually get into your yeah, system. But, but so I, most yeah. people who are impatient want to like you know do this, and all of a sudden you're like just because they, they take too much well you know i uh, i don't like the edibles uh, my, my wife got some of the chocolates from california okay i won't say well, who sent them to her but she and so i went okay well let i'll have one and she says okay and here's two pieces and she takes off two pieces and i down one of them and as you say it takes a while for it to take effect so i figured eh, i'll take the other one i was so fucking Hi, I should have only taken like a quarter of one square, okay? And I'm telling you, it it was the most uncomfortable high I've ever had. <laughs> Off of On edibles. Tuesday, uh, <coughs> it feel free because uh, uh, I'm going to the uh, Throckmorton Theater with a friend of mine's uh, yeah. wife. He, my friend passed away last year, and so Faye and I, and we're going to dinner, and, and uh, the Throckmorton, thing, she lives in Mill Valley. She told me that uh, this week she went into San Francisco, and she bought some edibles. She said they were like uh, chocolate-covered raisins and, and, and things like that. Yeah. And, yeah, I warned her against uh, eating too many. Uh, and, you know, I, I would just if eat If you it ever get an edible, I, folks, chocolate. just, just uh, try a, a, a portion of it, just a really small portion of it. So then wait a couple hours to see how high you get. And if you feel you're not high enough, then take another little, little portion. But find out how your body reacts to it. But I felt very uncomfortable. I was just so zonked out and so, yeah, you know, I didn't like the, I, 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 with, with, it, with uh, the uh, smokable, I know how much I'm doing and it's pretty immediate, you know, and I can you gauge all of that. Do you think it's because you hadn't gotten high in a while or that often that uh, the edibles uh, hit you that way? Uh, I no. just didn't. I didn't like the way the edibles. One, one is through your respiratory system. One is through your 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 bloodstream. Bloodstream, and so it's you know it's totally different in how your body uh, takes that and yeah. and and makes gets that feeling because if you do a bong, you're going to get high like. In a couple of minutes, and you know, right away, sort of. If you do an edible, it's a, it's it's an hour or two. You gotta yeah. just be patient with it. What like, was that thing? By, by the way, on on the on the show that I put up today, I'm up to 102. Wow. Well, on on this one, and, and about another 40 on on YouTube. You better take an aspirin before you go. Your fever gets any higher, but or an edible. Yeah, yeah but I know. So I'm what I'm saying is, is that it it really. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I get more viewership on something like that. In fact, we picked up uh, about four viewers in the last half hour, 15 minutes, and I'm on the air here, right? Uh, do you think that because people, when they subscribe, now you hit the bell and then you get notifications. And if you don't uh, uh, hit the bell again, you don't get notifications. So maybe people... Uh, what you hit this the, is an hit, earlier show. What hit the bell? I don't understand what oh, you have. Uh, on, your, on your YouTube, uh, there's a thing that asks you to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bell. So you hit the bell, and uh, that, that gives you that. You hit, the, you hit the subscribe button, and you subscribe. There's a little bell to the right now that if you hit it, then there, uh, a mark goes around the bell, and it gives you notifications. Mm -hmm. So I'm ha I, now this is a new process with YouTube. So I'm thinking that most people that subscribe to this to this channel mm -hmm. uh, didn't have the notifications that this new one does. No, well, everybody go and hit that bell. I see. I don't see that because as the person who runs the channel, uh, I don't see my subscribe button. I see. I, th I think the viewers know that 
there's at least 50% conservatives on the show now. <laughs> so it has uh, escalated, it has uplifted your viewership. Oh, yeah. SG, if I remember correctly, is a conservative. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, I, I what you may want to do is tell people to go to your YouTube channel for GabNet and and touch that bell so yeah. that they'll get notifications and it'll probably increase your thing. Yeah, it's, your yeah. viewership. Yeah, it's a lot to do. You know. Touch my bell. Yeah. 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 Ring my bell. I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> Ring my bell. Well, no, I you know I'm it, it, you, I remember you. You were conservative, right, uh, uh, SG? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was a reason I hated you. Oh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm conservative. I just want less government. I don't know what they call that. Well, I le no, less government is anarchy, and I'm all for that. I'm yeah. good. I, yeah, but how come you love regulation? No, I don't love regulation. There isn't a regulation you wouldn't go for. What, I mean, uh, you no. know, all the regulations that your friend I don't Obama like, put. I don't, I don't like regulations. I always hated the rules and regulations, for instance, the FCC imposed on broadcasters. I mean, on uh, broadcasters and, and what they could oh, do and sure. what they couldn't okay. do. So you just if, want I, if I want to say, if I want to say else. fuck on the radio and upset a whole bunch of people who will never listen to me again, that's my right. But uh, let me make the choice, not you as a government. Don't tell me what I can say and can't say. Thank you very much. I'll be here all night. Okay. Um, no joke string. No, but I know I don't. I I'm basically I'm an anarchist, and I think uh, anarchy would be the perfect way to run this country. The only problem is that most people have haven't learned how to be anarchist, and and there is if you're an anarchist, if you're a true anarchist, you believe that people have to be more responsible. You know, yeah. and and uh, you get what I'm saying. In other words. Uh, uh, in a, in a true anarchy, you you would not have a stoplight in an intersection. People would know what to do just by uh, decency. Kind you of know? like Republicans that say you should be more responsible for your own uh, actions and and consequences. No, but no, but the the trouble is that most conservatives believe in uh, that sort of thing up to a point. They believe in it where it affects them personally. But uh, they, they, at the same time, they will then try and march into California and stop them from smoking pot. Well, yeah, that, or that's the liberals that would stop us from owning guns. Uh, no, not stop you from owning guns. Stopping uh, people who are dangerous from owning guns. Uh, that's the excuse they're using now. But as soon as they get rid of the dangerous ones, I, then I don't come see. To I don't see owning a gun as a right. Okay, I'm sorry. You can say all you want about the fucking Constitution, which was written by. All right, here, here's an argument you might understand. Okay. So in Alex, so say you know, it's slow though. In San Francisco, people want to go naked, right? Yeah. So they like let us have our rights. Mm -hmm. So then, and the same thing is, let us have our rights, but hey, D.C., you tell all the states what to do. How is, how how do you say, when someone says, let us do what we want to do, but then we want someone at a different place who's not in control of our state, tell us what to do. Mm -hmm. Or city. Explain that. Yeah, because it's legal, I think, to be nude in public in San Francisco, but it probably I don't think it would be in in another city in the same state. But hey, you guys, in a hey, uh, President Obama, you need to tell the rest of uh, all the states what to do. Yet we want. Do you understand the, the argument here? Uh, I get what you're trying to say, uh, but now uh, you can't I, have I, a fight. fight. I mean, is why are we? We're liberal. We want this, but hey, you guys tell everyone to, what to do, because well, we don't minute, trust. Well, well, wait a minute. We what? don't trust our leaders of our states what to do. We need a higher authority who we believe in what, to tell us what to do. Okay. Well, like, let's say they say people want to run around naked. Uh, I don't see that. As, I, I don't say that. See that as being anything terrible. Uh, some of it would be upsetting only. No, because it's not the, a terrible thing, but it, it's it's a thing that of freedom, like. We want our freedom, yet. All right. We want, uh, let me. Let me. We let, want okay. Let, let me give you. Let me DC give you a. To tell let, wait, wait, all wait, of us what to do. Jeff. 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 Uh, Jeff? Yeah. Look, uh, I live in Oxford, Connecticut. Whatever that means. 
but if I bet you there's a lot of people who don't want people walking around naked. Okay, so they can create a, a rule that says naked is not permitted outside of your house in Oxford. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't have any problem with that, do you? Well, here, 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 here's what I what I would say yeah. about it. Uh, uh, I find nothing wrong with nudity, quite frankly. I think we make too big a deal out of it, you know. But, but, uh, you are living in a society, and you have to be respectful of the people around you. And you some know, people Paul? might, well, hold on a second, let me finish. People might be upset by public nudity. Uh, and so I don't run around naked in my apartment house uh, in the courtyard because I know there's some people who would be upset by that. Not because I don't think that I shouldn't be able to, but that I live in a society and I realize that one of the things I don't want to do is make other people feel uncomfortable. The law in San Francisco is that if you want to walk around naked, mm -hmm. you can't sit down on a park bench or a bench without putting something under your tush. Well, I would say that that's a good rule. But yeah. that's... that's, that's uh, what we would call a de good decorum, you know. Uh, you also have to wear one piece of clothing. So there are these two naked guys in their 60s in the Castro every weekend, and they, and they wear socks on their feet. Yeah. Huh. And yeah. they walk around with socks on their feet, totally naked, and they sit in restaurants and put little doilies on the chairs. I mean, no I shoes? It's Just disgusting. Well, I mean, I, I, we, we, we put way too much of a uh, of a value on, uh, you know, uh, on... <laughs> I've uh, seen them. Or, or, uh, on nudity and saying that nudity is horrible or we might see a man's <laughs> penis or a woman's no, that's vagina. That's not the point. That's not the point. Uh, the, yeah, point is, the point is you want, hey, let us do what we want, but then you say, let D.C. control the rest of the people. It's just crazy. Well, you're talking about states' rights. You believe in states' yeah, rights. Exactly. Uh, okay, but states' rights don't apply to everything. States' rights, uh, you can't just say, oh, we want slavery again, so we're going to have slavery. Not, 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 okay, I'll, t I'll t give you a problem with states. They want slavery. I'll give you one problem, one problem with states' rights, okay, is that uh, it, I agree. I think states and local communities, in fact, forget about the states. Local communities should be able to determine for themselves what their needs are. And what's acceptable in their community. However, however, I as don't like it, I don't I, the, I, the thing I don't like about states' rights is that in California, marijuana is legal. In the state uh, oh, uh, next door to well, I don't know is Nevada now. Arizona, yeah, it's legal Arizona. Either. It's still illegal, so you can't take it to Arizona. So you can bust it, throw it in jail, spend time in prison for for having it in Arizona. But if you go right across the line into California, hey, you're cool. Yeah. Now that yeah. there's something wrong with that, we need well, we need to have laws which are consistent exactly across the cool. country. What? They're not exactly cool because there's a national uh, law that well, says. Well, that's the other problem. Yeah. That's the other problem. There's a, a national law, but national law should not not should not over uh, reach uh, a state law. But well, the fact is, the fact to. is that you've got you've got Sessions try, and the and the, uh, the FBI and the DEA and people like that trying to keep banks mm -hmm. from taking money from people who make money off of marijuana in Colorado and uh, California and the states in which it's legal, and I find that wrong because they're doing it to put pressure and the squeeze on them. You know, they the the, the residents of those states said we want marijuana. Uh, legal for recreational use. If people sell it, they should be able to take the proceeds after a day's work to the bank where the money is safe instead of having to hire a guard to guard all the money they've got stacked in, uh, in, uh, in infinite amounts of vaults in their, uh, hey, on their premises. I, I want coffee legal for recreational use, and I'm going to go get a cup and protest my right I'm to drink I'm sorry, you can't leave and do it. <laughs> we will right. not allow it it's not good for your heart yeah it's not good for your heart uh but <laughs> no I, you know so i mean i i know what you're trying to say sg and 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 to a, a great extent i i feel that if, quite frankly you know i i don't like the way the drug laws are now i think that all drugs should be available to people 
and with a warning, uh, some of them with a prescription from their doctor, but they should all be available. I, I think a heroin addict, and they're, pro they're proposing this in New York City right now, that a, a, a heroin addict should be allowed to have places to go shoot up where they're safe, and where in case they overdose, there are people there who can uh, take care of them when that happens, rather than have, well, what's the, what's the you, can make, you wince, G SG, but what's the other side of this? The people die, you know? How do you save lives? Yes, Jeff. Wasn't it in, uh, was it Portugal or Spain that they made, I think it was Portugal, that they made heroin totally legal? Remember that? Uh, I know. I know. It's. I think. Well, I know. I know. In in the Netherlands, the the government will give people heroin if they're addicted. Yeah. Until they're ready to get off of it, so that they know that they're getting quality heroin, so that they can live. They can live a normal life and go to work and everything. Yeah. Uh, and then they'll help them get off of it when they want to get off of it. Yeah. They actually. I'm give having them trouble heroin. getting Brian on here. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh. Yeah. Uh, hello, Brian. I don't know if it's Portugal hello. or not. Uh, yeah. Uh, where, yeah. Uh, 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 England, I think, had uh, a heroin program. I have a heroin. It's my wife. <laughs> I believe Portugal legalized heroin. So Thank it's just you. it's legal, but you can so you can just go buy it any anywhere like so, with pot mm, here. Uh, I don't know what the regulations is. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but I know that there's... Hmm? Uh, I know that Portugal was... Um, Do you speak Portuguese? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's treated as a medical. <laughs> yeah, it's treated as a medical issue, just like yeah. in the Netherlands, yeah. it say, says here. It just makes a lot more sense. They don't send people to prison for it. They... Uh, they treat it as a medical issue. No, well, I don't think well, you should but, send people to prison for that, for being a user. You know, let them go to work, uh, attach their wages, have wages, uh, part part of their wages go for rehabilitation centers, and then you then you uh, accomplish two things. Yeah, I think that would be heroin great. Fri heroin fries your body. Come on. Well, well, I was not saying I, it doesn't. I'm I, just saying I don't want people. You, problem is, if you buy it on the street. Well, I will disagree with you, SG, that it fries your body. It uh, be a medicine. As a matter of okay, fact, how let many me, people let, do you know who are heroin users that are alive? Oh, uh, quite a, quite a few. A quite, a, quite a few. I know I a lot really, of people. Maybe, I know a lot of people who lived. Days. Wait a minute. Who lived long just, enough <laughs> and matured out? Do you know about maturing out? Yeah, I. You know, I. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm. I'm going in a direction here, and you're taking me off of it. Uh, uh, do you know? Do you know what maturing out is, SG? It's people. Uh, people when they've been using heroin for a certain amount of time. I think it may be like 20 years. For some reason, one day they wake up and they don't do it anymore. It, it, it they it, it just what they call mature out. I knew a guy who was a heroin addict, one of the biggest heroin addicts I ever knew. And today he's clean as a rail, and his name is Dr. John, you know, uh, Mac well, Rebinac. Good for him. I've had people shoot up in front of me plenty of times, and people are dead. Well, so, you know, there, there are stories. And why, and why are they dead? Why are they dead? Tell me. I, I think that they, they took, took it to an, uh, a level that uh, was beyond the, where their body could handle it. Okay, that's, that's, and why don't we, why don't we, why, I, I think that what you, probably the reason why your friends uh, had that problem, okay, was because they didn't know what they were getting. In other words, there are, hold on a second, there are two, two things that happen here. There is no strength control because you don't know what the, con, what, what the strength of the, of the heroin is that you're using is. It's not a regulated dose. And secondly, it usually has a lot of uh, substances in it which are corrosive to the system and actually do the real killing because it's oh, not I, No, it's not I, I would agree with that. So what, what that would happen if you flip. legalized heroin is you would be able to regulate the dosage and the purity of the stuff that people were getting. People, people cut uh, marijuana with stuff too. So yeah, I agree no, with you on. I agree with you on that. Marijuana is not the same uh, thing. Though. What? What's that? 
bu- on the marijuana, don't they get these buds? So it's it's all marijuana. What do you mean? So it's all marijuana? Uh, uh, well, SG said they cut it. Uh, you know, uh, what do they no. cut it? Right no, when, when when the people sell it, when the, not not no. not from the government, not not from the farms of Colorado or Washington or now California. When when you buy a key, it used to be a key, which is two point two pounds. Yeah. You would take a key and then you would cut that and you would either either have stems that you would sell to people who didn't know crap about marijuana or you would sell to people who knew stuff about marijuana and you put stuff in it that made it uh, more uh, potent so that they would buy that. Buy they, they, no, they, they, used with, they used to tell me they used to tell me that the stems and the seeds were the high highest quality. No, no, and no, it's the buds. They, no. They were selling it to me. They were selling you <laughs> yeah, the same. Right. Yeah. No, it's the buds. That's because you're a cop. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was long before that. No, if you got your pot and there were too many stems and seeds in it, you wanted your money back. Right. Yeah, I just want to know, know what it was. Just say how but, many fingers. But all I'm saying is, is that you know, like our president, for instance. Oh, we have an opiate crisis and. Uh, uh, we've got to, we got to, we got to do away. We got to arrest people. And we got to do this, and we got to do that. No, what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that if they're going to get this stuff, that it, that they're not going to overdose on it. You want to know something? I'll tell you something interesting. When my uh, well, my wife has to take stuff for her back, uh, and it's uh, it's it's some heavy duty stuff. Okay, when we went and got it at Walgreens uh, under our Express Grips program. Uh, they said, here, we're giving you uh, a free uh, inhaler of Narcan. And we said, what for? And they said, well, because my wife said, well, you know, I'm not going to overdose because I don't overdo it. And they said, no, that's not what we're worried about. We're worried that you forgot you took it, and so you take another one. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then you might need this. Narcan has been a lifesaver. Every home should have Narcan, whether you're a drug user or not. You don't know when somebody isn't going to be in your house, and suddenly they're going to overdose, and you're going to be able to save their life with this stuff. Just one big shot problem. up the nostril. What? The big problem nowadays is the, is the propofol. The propofol. Propofol? The propofol or whatever it is. You know, they're, they're getting that laced in the heroin nowadays, and the guys, the people on the street don't know it, and they're taking too much of it, and they're getting their ass knocked on the ground. Wait a minute. How do they do that That's with what- it me. How do they how do they do that with propofol? Propofol is a is a liquid. Yeah, but it, it gets laced onto the heroin and the heroin they, they inject it and they don't know how much they're getting and that stuff is so strong that they end up on their ass but, and they don't know but what's does going propofol on. Propofol survive once it evaporates. It it it's in the heroin. It's it it's does, in the heroin. It does now. remain in the heroin? I did not know. Yeah. That. Yeah. There's a pro. There's a problem here in Silicon Valley with just your average Joe who who's addicted to opioids can't get it on the prescription anymore. Uh, goes out on the street and gets heroin and overdoses, and yep. it's happened quite a few times. And the heroin is laced with all kinds of crap and yep. uh, that kills him. It's happened a bunch of times here. Santa Cruz, yeah. it's really bad. Yeah. The guy I had dinner with tonight is really into marijuana, and he goes to Colorado. Or he had been going to Colorado to get. And uh, what ended up, uh, I asked him tonight uh, some of the questions you were talking about yesterday. And he said that he had seen a documentary that was done in Colorado that opioid use was down because of marijuana. And that uh, uh, DUIs were down 20%. Because I said, you know, uh, that was Alex's question is, did DUIs go down when uh, when there was more smoking well, marijuana. Well, this my, is a guy. My question more was uh, the, the report that I saw with Lester Holt where he somebody said uh, he was talking to a cop. And the cop said, yeah, I arrest more and more people who are driving high on marijuana. But he didn't ask him, have the number of people who you're arresting who are drunk gone down? Which is it should be a question he should have asked. But, of course, Lester Holt is a dweeb well, and doesn't ask the right questions. I, my friend said that based on... What he saw, uh, it was a die. He couldn't remember where he saw it, but I, I believe him to be telling the truth. Uh, he said that DUIs were down in Colorado, uh, that uh, opioid uh, deaths were down, and uh, you know he's he's the kind of marijuana smoker that he could function completely normal on uh, on pot. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
he, he's one of the people I was talking about who could compensate right. 100 percent for the uh, for the use of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Ray. I mean, a, a lot of people, a lot of people who are addicted to opioids and um, the other one, uh, like clonazepam and, oh, and all that stuff, yeah. they're, they're using uh, marijuana to help them as they're getting off of it. Yeah, he said that too. Yeah. And, um, you know, it works for some people and it doesn't work for others, but it does work for a lot of people. Yeah. 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 It's better than drinking. Um, <laughs> can they use that marijuana oil that uh, it's a pill or something you take? And it well, it's like a tincture you put it under your CBD. tongue. Yeah, yeah you can get high, C you can get pure CBD hemp, which has almost no THC in it, or you can get like 20 to 1 CBD to THC tincture you can put under your tongue. Yep. And that will help you if you're getting off these drugs. In, yep. the, in yeah. the new laws in California, because I'm not there, I'm here in New York where the only way you can get it is you have to have cancer. Uh, 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 huh? <laughs> or go to California. Well, no, I'm saying that out in California is the... Is the uh, uh, marijuana is the marijuana uh, is there a law about how strong it can be or is it just the wild west that way it's the wild west and, and I'll tell you and the other thing in California now that it's legal for everyone they're charging about 20% tax yeah unless you go to the county with your piece of with your doctor's prescription wait in line yeah. and get a tax exemption and you have to go in person yeah yeah so now California is making out like a bandit now yeah. Are they getting paid in cash? No, you can use credit card, whatever. Well, yeah, but you can't buy the uh, the stuff uh, the, the, because they won't. The banks won't. Uh, I've bought it with a yeah. visa. Really? Yep. Yeah. So yep. why, why can't these marijuana outlets deposit the money in a bank if it's going into a visa? Then it's got to be going into their bank account. Not necessarily. I think the, I way, they, the way they solved the problem in uh, in Arizona in Col in uh, Colorado was the bank. The uh, what do you call it? Uh, credit uh, union. The credit unions aren't uh, aren't regulated by the government, and so therefore they could take the money and put it in their banks, and uh, that's probably what's happening in California. This is a big boom for boom for credit unions. Oh, it's a great boom for credit unions, but I mean. I think that it's wrong that, again, I talk about this disparity of, of the government and the state, that this, you know, these people can't just walk into a bank and give them their money because it is a legal business in California, Colorado, uh, Oregon, uh, Washington, uh, Nevada, I believe, as well now. Uh, Did you hear the report yesterday that re uh, the tax revenues uh, were projected to be 175 million in the state of California, and they ended up being 20 million? Uh, uh, you know, so their their revenues weren't as high as they thought it would be. Well, so yeah, it's also a problem down here in the Monterey County. Right. That they're complaining that the taxes have gotten so high that they're actually trying to back off of the taxes because. Some of these uh, dispensaries and whatnot yeah. are, are getting taxed so high that they're actually starting to go under. Yeah. So they're trying oh, to yeah. back uh, off on the tax. Brian has well, his hand up. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Brian has his hand up. Yes, Brian. I just want to. Can you hear me, first of all? Because yeah. it's been yep. a while since I've been online and I just want to make sure the equipment's working. All right. Uh, regarding the credit union and the whole banking. Uh, Incongruency. I wonder if uh, uh, part of that has to do with the fact that uh, a lot of these banks, like Bank of America and even PNC and uh, my hometown, um, they deal interstate, from state to state to state. Yes. And a lot of, still a majority of the states that don't legalize marijuana, even for medicinal purposes. Uh, if if that has something to do with why uh, the businesses in Colorado, California, or Alaska, or whatever, can't deposit are, into federal. That's exactly what it is. Are yes. credit unions not national, or can't be not, uh, across uh, across state lines? No, they're usually yeah, they're usually local type. In, local, you're local, saying credit right? unions are usually local type? Well, yeah. No, yes. you know, let's say Patelco, which is uh, I guess that's Pacific Telephone. Uh, that they have a credit union. Yeah, well, that's for their I, employees. Yeah. Yeah. But well, they're probably not. But they're within. It's probably within a state. 
But banks are federally insured. So yeah, and, by and the federal government. So that's multiple why multiple states. So yeah. that money crosses state lines. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just think that uh, to think maybe it's because of the feds. You know that the. Uh, Jeff Sessions and all this, yeah. stuff, those other you know, gaggle, you, gaggle of ghouls and assholes, they're, they're, they're what's tying up the... Uh, Your money's not going to cross state lines. Yeah, <laughs> no. Says the pig fucker. <laughs> Chief pig fucker. Head of the Justice Department pig fucker. Wink, if wink. you think money's going to cross state lines... <laughs> yeah. I just touched a raw nerve with me. Daughter's not going to cross Jefferson state lines. Jefferson Barry Gardner. over the wall. And you look that sheep looks mighty fine. I think I'll fuck it up the ass. Fuck you, <laughs> you troll looking motherfucker. Hey, um, uh, where have you been like all a lizard these months, uh, Brian? What's that? Where have you been all these months? Don't they uh, let you on the air when you're on home 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 arrest or <laughs> home arrest? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, not quite. I, uh, I've been, like I said, I've been uh, job searching, and uh, then being so late, my uh, my natural sleep cycle. I'm usually asleep by nine o'clock, nine thirty. Oh, I am too. And, uh, I don't know. I just doing doing other shit. Yeah, the show I do, I even consider if even if that other shit entails me sitting in front of a television screen playing video games in my spare time. That's yeah. you know, I kind of lose track of time that way as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I just, I just think that again, you know, we, this all started with SG talking about states' rights, and the fact that we, uh, you know, the fact is that the, the, the Republicans and conservatives are all for states' rights until they don't want them. I mean, then until why, their ox is gored. Then why is Jeff Sessions going into California trying to stop the whole pot thing? You know, it was legally passed by the public. There you go. Okay, that's states' rights. They have the right so to do so that. Was, so or a was woman wanting to have an abortion after the third trimester. Hold, hold it, hold it. So was Proposition 187. So was all these propositions that eliminated uh, uh, the, um, the unequal uh, uh, rules for uh, uh, minorities. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they gave them a, a leg up. These yeah. things were propositions that were voted on by the people, but they were taken down by one liberal judge. You know, uh, 187, it was another proposition in California. By one liberal judge. One liberal one judge. One liberal judge. Yeah, there's a difference There's a difference between states' rights and when they conflict with federal and constitutional mandates. There's a difference. Well, a state can't, pa a state, that, a state, a state can't pass a law which violates the Constitution. Oh, they, that, that's of course they do. What do you call sanctuary cities? That yeah. doesn't violate the Constitution. How does that violate the Constitution? Do you know what a san what does a sanctuary sanctuary city do? It gives people sanctuary who are who are running. Uh, maybe they came to this. Right. Do they? Do they? Or do they not prohibit the working together with ICE? That's fine. It's, I'm, I'm all for that. Do they or do they not? Yeah, but ICE is, operates so illegally at times that they really they need Working to be slowed so down a little at bit. Times. And you're making up stuff. No, I'm not making up stuff. ICE is a vile, horrible organization. Viable, horrible. Are yeah, you because me? they're protecting our rights. They're ripping children away from mothers and fathers. They're Wait ripping a fathers let's away. Take that out of, let's take that out of the equation just for oh, a second. Oh, well, let's keep well, it in there. Wait a minute. Let's, let's keep it in the equation, let's just SP. That, let's, let's just see those kids let's in your house. These people correct. have broken the law. Let me, agree with, said, you, exactly. Al, let me agree with you, Alex, just for a second. Yeah. Let me say you're, you're correct. Yeah. Let's say, okay. Now, all the people who are... Women and children and families are okay. What about the rest of the people? Mm -hmm. Can can they, with ICE, be in these cities, uh, have ICE and work with them such that they bring these criminals out of this uh, country? No, but you're saying they're all criminals. Can they're not. They, they're they're not they wait, a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second, can, SG. They're not they just. Know? They're not just going after criminals. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've, I've are you going to tell me? 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 I've that, taken away your baby debate. I've taken away your mother debate. I'm talking about people who are criminals 
who who we want to get out of it. Or, yeah, but how well, many swallow those people? Yeah. Those yeah, people yeah, yeah. are in okay, the criminal okay. justice hey. system. They've been released by the sheriff's Both department for oh. for crimes that they they've done. They're awaiting uh, a, a court date. And they're supposed to uh, would, would both of you please stop? None of these people have hey, babies. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid for a moment. Here, this isn't Jonestown. Here, I'll, here, I'll, throw, I'll throw the baby out of the... Come on. Come on. No more babies. Uh, uh, the, the hatred. Uh, people. The point I'm trying to make here, SG, is that uh, you're, you're assuming that most of the people who are here I'm as Ill anything. illegal aliens are criminals. No. And most xenophobic of them, no, racist. Hey, if they do came you know, here, do you know in the do you know in the state of Texas, I can send you a link and I sent it to one of your your folks uh, in another venue that there are over six hundred thousand crimes from two thousand eleven to two thousand eighteen from illegal aliens. Oh bullshit! What's now this is this is from the Kate department. Spiney is one of them. Huh? This is DHS. Kate. This is within the state of Texas. Only, I can I can send you that. Now you you well, can wait either a minute, say wait a minute and who and who who you can say who, this is bullshit. Well, wait a minute, who gave the, who bullshit, gave, who, but it includes includes rape, includes murder, it includes uh, all this stuff. And these people, yeah. it, it, it's a graph put by if you if you're a big government guy, then you will love well, this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second, SG, SG. Actually, he wants to know who put out the information. Yes, I'll send it to you right now. Hold on. No, no, I, don't, I don't want to be sent. Yourself. I don't want it to be sent to me because we're doing a show here and people are listening and they want to hey, know as talk well. Talk amongst yourself. I'll find it. Post it on Facebook. Post it on the Gabnet Group Facebook page. All right. Yeah, but you know, if he does that, it's still it, it's not going to serve the purpose of of what's happening Conference. here and what people. Well, yeah, wanna, that's true. Want to but, have knowledge you know. of. This uh, is such be bullshit because you, know, you okay, don't know well, okay, that listen, regular right. Americans aren't killing other people at a higher rate than these regular so, Americans. Yeah, but, hey, American, you, how do you Ray, know? Ray, will you let him finish? Uh, Phil, will you let him finish first, please? Uh, Thank I'll, you. Get into emotion, Alex. Like, th this is. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm Ray. Sorry, no, you're man. making a good point, Ray. Okay. What is the rate at which Americans are killing Americans or just other people versus these criminals coming into the country from Mexico that, for instance, Trump talked about in his State of the Union address, the yeah. gangsters, you know I, I will, the gangster I will, invasion? I mean, is, do you actually I will agree with you. Shit? I will agree with you that the local people who are not illegals do more crime. I will agree with you. That is true. That's What's a true statement. Crime? That it ends up it ends up being primarily a true statement. However, do we want more crime? This is about more crime. I will agree with you. And and stats, they are here and there. But I'll just agree with you. I will agree with you in this point because I've looked at it, and it's it's kind of one of these things that's squishy. And, and people can't say this or that, but there's, it's more, yes, I agree with you. But do we want more crime? Do we I'm want more crime. crime? We don't want more crime. So, But you want them to be able to come in legally. So That's that if they came in legally, you believe they wouldn't commit crimes? Not to the level that the gangs and drug dealers well, and... But, uh, the, uh, why, why, why couldn't, why couldn't, the, why couldn't the drug or drug people in the gangs be, apply here? Well, you remember when uh, Fidel Castro released and by uh, the his way, jails by, by and, the, and the amount of crime that came to San Francisco? Uh, you know, the gay guys that were getting killed uh, by... Uh, you know, you're, the, you're not only in, in gross engaging in whataboutism, you're engaging in two entirely different set of circumstances. Uh, it, you know, if, they're, if the criminals uh, that are in Mexico and in Central America... <laughs> And other countries are going to pour across what our about, what about the, What about the average person who's seeking asylum in this country because he thinks he can find a better way of life There's here? There's a method for them to seek no, asylum. No, there isn't, Phil. There, hey, is, there are Trump quotas. There are quotas. Right, you and they Trump make you jump, they make you jump I through I got hoops. the stats from right from the, the New York Times. Oh, wait a okay. I got it from the New York okay. Times. Hold on, hold on a second. Everybody, from what everybody. Texas, First. Texas. Texas. For, New York Times is a liberal rag. Okay, for <laughs> first SG, first SG. Yeah, I got the stats. The right. Texas Department.
Department of Public Safety, over 251,000 criminal aliens have booked into Texas jail between 2011 and 2018. During this, their criminal careers, these criminal aliens were charged with more than 663,000 criminal offenses. So you know what? I was wrong. I was on the low end. Okay. And now the and now and let me ask you, ask you this question. What are the offenses and how many of them did Arpaio arrest? Okay. Uh, Arpaio's so not in Texas. He's in Arizona. There are wherever. Weapons, sexual assault, robbery, obstructing police, theft, kidnapping, drugs, burglary, assault. And that's how many, how many cases of that? 600. There were, on weapons, there were 9,000. Of, of people who were uh, arrested and convictions, there were uh, over 4,000. Let me tell you. Sexual, let me tell sexual you assault. I, I lived there were 7,156. Uh, okay, where, where, where are you getting? And where are you there getting? Were uh, hold on. 3,300. SJ. I, I, I got it from the Texas, uh, I mean, Texas state government. I'm is, confused. I am is, looking at a chart right here that can, says. From you, from Texas data, right here in front of me, and it's completely opposite of what you're saying. Crime has gone down considerably. This like is, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm um, looking at a government which Democrats should just embrace. The DPS. Hey, listen. Hey, 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 SG, SG, SG. I worked in Texas for many couple of years, and I got to tell right. you, I, uh, I, un I, I uncovered something. <laughs> At just alone in the Houston Police Department, where on Tuesday nights they were holding Ku Klux Klan meetings, okay? So don't tell me about Texas fucking justice. What do you mean, don't tell you? What, what year was that? 1922? I'm talking about 2011. I got, I got out of town. I got out of town two days. Before, right now, they, they, they right knew, here, they knew that either I, you accept it okay, or you reject uh, it. I reject it because I know how Texas justice is, and I know what they do. I know that, for instance, I got out of town two days before the police were going to plant pot on me and arrest me because I what, had this information about these accept? Ku Klux Klan. You know, they didn't want to what stats do you accept? What? What stats do you I'll, accept? Uh, Ray's got some stats from Texas that are completely go against yours. No, no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He doesn't have any okay. government stats. Let, okay, then listen to Ray. Uh, look, look at him. him. Wait a minute. Let's listen, well, listen to it then, for God's sake. The headline sake. is yeah. the myth of criminal. Will you let Ray the, answer the, my question here, Phil? <laughs> What's By the filibustering, question? neither of you are going to win this argument. I would like Ray Comley to tell He doesn't have any him. stats. He has an article. Oh, my God damn it. You don't see the stats in the middle of the page? Uh, sort of. You posted them. Sort of? They, uh, they, they oh, graph. I'm less crime. Than New York Times. Dots. Yeah. Uh, they're telling me that in the 136 metro areas, almost 70% of the, those studied, the immigrant population increased uh, from 1980 to 2016 while crime stayed stable or fell. But no, that's a go. statement. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a statistic. You know, it's, it's what? It's a, just a statement, and that could be. No, it's not. The, the stats are on the bottom. Look further down. Uh, the ch most areas experience decreases in all types of violent crime. The change in assault rates ranged from 34 percent decline to a 29 percent rise, while robbery rates declined in the range of 12 percent to 57 percent, and murder rates declined in the range of 15 percent to 54 percent. I mean, it's all. What are you talking about? Th there's a graph down on the bottom. I see some. I see some graphs that look like my hair. We see what oh happens. What I happens, Phil, this. when you're conservative? You you when, you're, when you're conservative, when you wait a minute. Talk, hold on a second. When you talk about no. when you it's talk the about project. The, no, when you talk the, about decline. You can talk about decline all you want, but when you have sexual assault and you're talking about over 3,300 convictions, over two. Uh, Seven thousand people and, and, who have been arrested. Wait a you can talk about the and clock, all of these. Clock. All of you know these. You can, oh, prove, minute, you can prove and, stats. Uh, SG, you can prove, you can prove it if you want. SG, stats. listen but to me. I have oh, actual boy. convictions where families are impacted and there's crimes being committed. This used, Bill to, has be a friend. This used to be my show. Uh, no, all I'm saying, SG, uh, is uh, are these all Hispanics? says uh, immigrants, right? Immigrants. What kind of immigrants? Criminal aliens. Bye. No, d oh, oh, Ray. Ray had to go. Ray could not take it, and I agree with him. You know. Well, of course, I I shut him down. Criminal. Uh, 
Wait a minute. Texas Hold on criminal a second. Alien. All right. All right. All right. Texas SG. Okay. criminal alien. Okay. Arrested okay. We heard you. Texas SG, Department we heard safety. you. We heard you. Ray, call back, will you, please? I, I, you know, All right, I need. Ray, you. I love you, man. I, I, I'll write him. Let me get my. Phone. I, I need Ray's. Uh, Ray's. Uh, what can I call it? Uh, I'll be his, quiet. For his now. sanity. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Uh, we have. Um, um, we have Brian here. Brian, you were kind of giving snarky looks to this discussion. <laughs> I just. Uh, well, I, I. I wanted to hear. Ray had some information from. Uh, Texas as well that was contradicting what SG had to say and uh, I wanted to hear what that source was that uh, Ray had from Texas not from the New York Times but from Texas yeah Ray if you're still listening uh, out there please call back I, I really would love to he probably maybe he left because he had other shit to do no no, no he left because no. he was he, he he is very passionate and I think he felt that by the way we uh, SG all we can see is that from your nose upward can you move your camera a little bit so we see it uh, there we go oh boy I thought I was looking like Kilroy was here uh, where where are you from by the way SG where are you calling from um yonder Yonder. Well, I mean, like where in the country? Texas. That doesn't matter. Huh? Doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. This is your show. No. We're all about you, Alex. No, we're not all about me. Obviously, we're all we're, about if you. we were all about me, I would have gotten a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, all I'm saying is, is that, uh, you know, uh, what, who is it that said there? The, I think it was maybe Will Rogers. There are statistics in there, and there are damn statistics. You know, I mean, uh, statistics can be uh, skewed in any particular manner that That's people true. want to skew them. I can probably get somebody to go into the Texas situation and skew what they're saying completely the other way. True. You know? uh, so. Uh, but Ray, if you're out there, please call back. I, I'm begging I you. I'm begging you uh, to call back. I, I don't like to see anybody go away upset on this program because uh, except me, except you. <laughs> but you, you can take a punch. That's you know. Uh, uh, I've driven other people away too, so I I I apologize. Oh, yeah. oh no, it, it's it's okay. You know, uh, sometimes. Uh, I wanted to create something called a no Trump zone, but Alex wasn't going for it. Uh, I, I just thought people were tired. Well, of, we weren't. We weren't. We haven't talked about Trump tonight. We didn't talk about him last night. Nah, but same stuff, you know. What do you mean, when what we do you mean same stuff? This Jesus. is no. We're talking about we're talking about drug laws here in this country, you know. And but it did delineate to uh, immigration and uh, illegal whether they're illegal immigration and whether or not they should be yeah. locked up and throw the way to key on or, or rehabilitated kind of, and that's Brian, what Trump has been. Yeah. You know, but you see, he has I agree. infiltrated our, our cerebral cortex. So I agree with SG that mm -hmm. or crime is, is, you know, Do you know what you you're saying? You know what you're already. saying, Phil, you know what you're saying, Phil? Yeah. It, I'm saying it, that we have no, enough crime no, already. No, we no. don't need if any more you, on if, top of if it. If you lived in pre-war Germany, you, those are the same statistics you hear about Jews. No, because yes, the Jews would. were living no, in Germany no, no, and no. they were you, you German no, you citizens. You would hear about Jews that they were they were uh, robbing no. and they were stealing and that they were vermin and they were portrayed uh, in animation as rats <clears throat> and that uh, and 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 there was the xenophobia that was created surrounding the Jews and then they rounded Conflate. them all up and killed six million of them. I, well, I'm, I'm going to make a sign saying conflate. Conflating. They, they, you know, those <laughs> Jews were relatives of mine, and so maybe it was true. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. well, there are elements of truth in every story. Uh, SG's <laughs> running off to make up a sign saying conflate. <laughs> we can spell it right. Anyway. Uh, uh, not without Siri's help. <laughs> that's one thing the left needs to embrace and, you know, run oh, with. What did I hear? What did those I... stereotypes do exist for a reason. What did I read today that scientists have found... That people can get your Siri to do stuff without talking to it. There are certain sounds. There we go. Conflate. Okay. Cornflakes. That's what it says, right? Cornflakes? Cornflakes. Oh, I see. <laughs> Kellogg's cornflakes. Uh, wait a minute. Here comes, here comes Ray. Make another sign yeah. that reads deflect. Now, everybody be respectful to Ray, okay? 
Everybody you know. should be respectful to everybody. Yeah, there's Ray. I'm, uh, Ray, hey. I, I hate to see it go away like that because I don't want to see sorry. anybody's feelings hurt. You know? No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I need I need to grow up. I just had to go loop on my stretch marks and shoot up. I forgot my heroin this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. When you don't have your when you don't when you're Jonesing, <laughs> you can't do a good job of arguing. You, you know? know, I smoked a bong and that helped my heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a uh, guy, Melvin Van Peoples, and he had a song. I knew uh, Melvin where, uh, Van Peoples. The father? Yeah. Uh, and um, he, he said, uh, you go from one bag a day to two, two to three. Pretty soon, you're giving rich old dude head, head in limousines, too. I put a curse on you. You know, <laughs> had to do with, uh, and that was the name of the song, I put a curse on you. Yeah. yeah uh, and what does that have to ha do with the discussion? Well, it has to do with him. <laughs> Talking about heroin, oh, yeah. uh, he had to go shoot up. Yeah, I can't tell the amount of times <laughs> well, I've I would done get... that myself. I call them pleasurable digressions. Yeah, you yeah. see, he gives blowjobs. You know, he's 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 the only one here, <laughs> only guy you can accuse of. A I didn't blow refer to pleasurable digressions in that context, but since you bring it up, yes, I do. For those of you who don't know who I am, yeah. Yeah. in the number of months I've been absent, yes, I am a homosexual. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, Still, and, you haven't changed, uh, Brian, uh, you haven't been uh, cured. Uh, well, if anything, if uh, you know, I take that back, Jeff. If uh, if that was you, Jeff, or if that was right, that would ask yeah, it was that was you. Anyway, uh, if anything, I've uh, inching more towards asexuality. Well, is that just because you can't get laid? That's Have because I can't stand people enough to want to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit of the, but, but a little bit of that too. I'll, I'll admit. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't look as thin as I did when I was 25 or 26. I'm now 36, but still, I, I hate people. Yeah, they sicken me. <clears throat> Jeff's well, getting a good, well, good, can do especially the good in groups. Out of this. We're a group. Well, <laughs> I'm talking in like marches and rallies and shit. Uh, I'm talking also not just the right, you know, not just like the Charlottesville, you know, alt right. I'm talking like the Antifa people and their group think and how they let things get out of hand. Both sides do. Yeah. I hate people. Good. That's an easy thing to do. Yeah. You know, cuz oh, it's easy to people do. Pretty mean. You know? Mob mentality. Yeah. Mob. People get disgusting. Uh but anyway, um That's why I like animals as much as I do. Well, I will t I will say this. I have a GOP confession. So when uh, Obama did the the nationwide, uh, everyone can get married. I I can't, I uh, posted on Facebook. I'm coming out of the closet, and I came out of the closet for uh, this guy I knew who was a 22 uh, year old, and a bunch of people said this and that, and I just said, look. You know what? I'm coming out. I support this person. I know this person, and that's the end. If either you are, uh, you can just unfriend me or whatever. But that's the deal. I came out for them. Oh, you just, came out I, as an ally. And that is my confession. Well, you can't. You, you say you came out for them. By the way, yeah. we can't see your whole it's face support. now. Again. A straight ally. Yeah, I use. Oh. I use the. I use the. Uh, Do whatever you want. I just use I. I'm coming out. Yeah. To this person. And you're thinking on that, Brian. Well, uh, what I'm thinking of is, uh, you know, a number of uh, number of gay conservatives that I, I I've known personally, and that you know we hear about in the media. Of course, we hear more flamboyant, obnoxious gay conservatives, namely mm -hmm. Milo Leonopoulos. But um, well, what do they call them? They, they are out there. Are you, say, are you saying, SG, were you saying that you're, you're gay? I don't think so. I don't think he was. No, were you, or you were. I'm saying you I'm, I'm happy, but not gay. Oh, okay. My <laughs> I see. Okay, good. I wanted to. I, and I, I, you're coming I, out I as support, a, you came out as a supporter. Him, and, and one of the things was that really kind of pissed me off was that, you know, we, 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 I knew this person from church. And the church that we're in is conflicted not conflated but like, conflicted convict, convict. and and it you know just just everyone who has had this person in their life just support them just do it yeah, that's because what what the hell does it matter that person does because i don't know 
the guy is a good guy, and whatever he does, I don't care. Whenever I see him, I hug him. And I'm going to see him tomorrow because his grandmother died, and I don't give a flip. Now, SG, I got to ask you this. That's uh, conf- that's that's uh, conflated, not corn flaked, or yeah. corn holed. It's kofifi. <laughs> kofifi. Yeah. No, a word that is yet yeah, to be I laugh defined. At my own jokes because if I don't laugh at them first, how the, if I don't think they're funny, how the fuck do I expect anyone else to? Well, no. Yeah. And even if anybody else doesn't think <laughs> hey, they're funny, at least I, I, I find them funny. Jokes for four years, yes. nobody laughs. Corn, corn something. Corn, corn something. Corn, corn, hey, corn, 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 corn Your, your, your corn. Mm-hmm. I didn't went by too fast. Corn syrupy. Corn syrupy. Yeah. <laughs> Just corn, corn something. Uh, corn something. Oh, corn something. I see. <laughs> Hey Brian, Cornholio, like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. I Brian, I've been making jokes on this show for four years and nobody laughs. Oh, I've been uh, I've made been witness to them for almost a year of those four years. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a good a good reason for that, you know. I don't give a fuck, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, you you uh, you have no comedical sense. Comedical. Comedical. It's, comedical. It, it's nuclear. Comedical. It's a nuclear thing. Commutical. Commutical. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, we were at the uh, Koreans roughly. coming home. The Americans coming home from Korea is where we were at. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, and incidentally, uh, Trump getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning to greet them. Too. Yeah. And Melania. And Melania. I think, I think they held hands. And, and she probably she passports. probably had to get up at ten to make both of them to make up. So they're ready for the the event. Oh, Alex, he got up at two because he was checking their passports because all the ice guys are down on the border. So. Yeah. Uh, listen, that that uh, getting those guys freed was an easy deal because it was the one thing that uh, you know Kim Jong Un was keeping in his pocket. And then he just pulled it out when he needed it, you know. And uh, the president was is a sucker for it, you know. Yeah, here we're we'll give you these guys back. What does he care about giving those guys back? As I said, it's two less mile, three less mouths to feed, and in Korea, that's a lot, you know. Wait a minute, okay, I'm, I'm, Alex. Here's, hey, okay. here's the deal. What do people say when Pompeo goes over there? Oh, he came back empty-handed the first time. Then. He comes home. And nobody and said he came back people. empty-handed. Wait, but... hold on. No. The first time. Yes. No. And then nobody said he, he was... comes home. Listen to me. Yeah. Then he comes home, and then they say, oh, he has three people. Then they say, oh, he's, they're being suckered. He's being played. I mean, when does it end? No, 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 no. All I'm saying hey, is, say? is that this was this was it. Oh, congratulations. Th- this was an easy peacemaking deal for Kim Jong-un because he oh. didn't care whether these guys were let go or not you know easy for him he's fat he's not attractive well neither is pompeo (laughs) it was you know i saw the two of them together pompeo and kim jong-un and i couldn't figure out who i couldn't figure out who was was, sumo wrestling match pompeo would push him out of the circle (laughs) wait a minute don't you think that trump would have gotten or that kim jong-un by giving those uh, detainees to trump uh, that would have a bit a bigger feather in Trump's hat, and he Trump might have given Un more concessions based on the fact that uh, they released him to Trump. By releasing him to Pompeo, he doesn't have as much bargaining chips. He, as, the easiest yeah. guy in the world to play is Donald Trump. All you got to do, all you got to do, is flatter him. Okay, and, and then his, yeah, and and you'll get what you want out of him. You watch him. Do that to Moon. Kim Jong. He, uh, Kim Jong. Un yeah, they is, say that the South Korean president is the one who deserves the credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but being China, uh, I would also Trump. I would I would I would no I would also give it to China because if you remember, uh, uh, Kim Jong Un took his little train, choo choo train to to Beijing, <laughs> and he met with uh, he met with uh, the prime minister of China, and then he came back, and all of a sudden, after he came back, he was far more conciliatory towards making um, amends and peace and so on. And I think what happened was the Chinese read him the riot act. If you don't straighten up, if you don't clear this thing up. We're not going to support you any longer. We're not going to send you the good you need. The percent of the trade with, yeah. with North Korea is yeah. through China. Okay, Ray has his hand up. 
I, I was just going to say the same thing. You're both right. Uh, North Korea is completely dependent on China for their existence. China can dictate almost anything to North Korea. And that's and they and they will behind the scenes. That's how China does but stuff. Trump met with uh, Xi Jinping and asked him to negotiate this with uh, North Korea. So uh, Trump really instituted this thing uh, during Trump his meetings didn't in Mar-a-Lago. Do shit. Trump Jow, didn't Jow. do shit. Uh, ah. Everybody else did shit, and he's sitting around going, "Give me the Nobel Prize! I want the Nobel Prize!" He always has somebody. It was Moon. It was Moon who said that. Well, I think I think should have it. It, it, huh? Moon of Korea said he uh, Trump should get the Nobel Prize. Oh, I can think Why of a lot of other that? people that should get it before him. <laughs> hey, like Obama, for example. I think Stormy Daniels should get the Nobel. Hey. That was ridiculous when Obama And that would really be I've that would really she, she didn't get any ridiculous. That was, no, Obama was, even thought it was ridiculous. What was ridiculous? Oh, okay. That he is winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, but he's he the float, he's the one that's floating the idea. No, Obama. Oh, Obama. Oh yeah. Obama when he won the Nobel Peace Peace Prize, he virtually said he didn't deserve it. This makes no sense. Yeah. I mean, he didn't he didn't feel like he deserved it and he didn't. Yeah, I think it's because I think it's she. She would be the Nobel guy. Uh, Nobel. China. You mean the China's uh, prime minister or president? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I mean, I'm a little shit with names on this issue. You know, I give the what I would give the X I and it's pronounced. uh, I what I who I would give the Nobel Peace Prize to this year, the white helmets. (laughs) You know who they are. The guys yeah. in Syria, who are who are going into war zones and digging people out of out of rubble and saving their lives and the lives of yeah. children, those people should get the peace prize. Yeah. And we do I give agree. the peace prize to groups. I mean, the groups, Quake, the, exactly. I was just the, say that. the Quakers got a peace prize, Nobel Peace Prize. I mean, what do you think about the the uh, stuff that's going on between Israel and Iran right now? The troop movements uh, in Bomb. Syria of the Iranian uh, of the Iranians. And the uh, yeah, you know what I think about it. Thank you very much, bombings. Donald Trump. The bombings going on back Th- and forth. Thank you now. very much. Thank you very much, Donald Trump. Oh, no, no, wait. The Iranians did have to bomb. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much, Donald Trump. Thank you very much, Donald Trump. The Iranians did not have to bomb Israel or the Golan. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Donald Israel Trump. sent up the first rockets. Uh. It was but Alex, shouldn't, Alex like, shouldn't we be saying thank you very much, Benjamin Netanyahu? Yeah, we probably should say that. He's thank a you very much. criminal. Yeah. Well, he made his point. Uh, Shady asshole. You know, he had hundreds of thousands of documents uh, that, that made its point. <laughs> You know, you're holding up signs, and a lot of people listening to this on the uh, on the audio broadcast are well, so far less than ever life. used to because they all watch the video now. Yeah. yeah. People um, listen. Two can play at this game. What do you mean two can play at what game? Oh, oh, yay. oh okay. So now uh, 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 Brian is going to start. EMS. What does that stand for? Uh, eat my well, shit. What? Eat my shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're going to have dueling uh, captions on this program. God damn right you will, because I uh, I fight fire with fire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know the meaning of the word fear. I fight Brian fear started. with fear. What? <laughs> What'd you say, Brian? Uh, Kevin. Kevin, He's, rather. Kevin, well, what'd you say? Getting me started or something. I this said, you is, get this Brian is, started. You're gonna have a war. Oh, we don't need to see more of your photographs tonight. This is what you're I'm submitting next you're week. You're gonna do yeah. EMS. Have a picture Nature. of your. That's pretty uh, nice. I have a picture. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Yeah. EMS. Well, I can't really draw a portrait of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to work with. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> and if I have to draw a picture of a piece of shit, I might as well draw a portrait of you. <laughs> but I don't have time for that because we have less than 12, 12, 12 minutes left. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I just. That uh, made an impact. I think, I'd say. I I'm think, my bowels, uh, if nothing else. I think we're. Sure, uh, you'd be regular. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm so tired of the news now. I'm hardly paying attention to it. You know, I just get hey, my little headlines. Do you know that the Mormon Church has said we are 
cutting out of the Boy Scouts. Now the Scouts. And they were they are twenty percent of the Boy Scout uh, total population. Well, that's good. We're thinning out the Boy Scouts. I, I thought the Boy Scouts changed their name to Scouts. Yeah, it it's now Scouts. Scouts. And, oh, and, and, and now it's the Scouts. The Mormon the Mormon Church is leaving the Scouts. Why? Because it went co ed? Yes. Because well, I mean, they well, don't say it, but it's transgender, I think. It's all that stuff. You know, I think any allowed. any kid who wants to become a scout should be allowed to become a scout. I I'll tell you about the fucking Mormons. I wanted <laughs> to be I wanted to be a scout when I was a kid and the local scout chapter was run by the Mormons and they wouldn't let me in. No you're Jewish. Jewish. Because I was Jewish. Well, not because <laughs> I was Jewish cuz they hated me. You know, no, they, they just they <laughs> wouldn't let me I guess because I wasn't a not because I was Jewish but because I wasn't a Mormon. Because you wasn't a Mormon. Yeah, I, I was. Never even accept that it's your personality. Uh, yeah. n never going to accept that because I have a charming, wonderful, warm personality. Now, SG, when you ask me that question, I'll just say, "Yeah, I accept it's my personality. Get the fuck over it." <laughs> hey, uh, you know when I I'll was. I'll start my own church. Yeah. I'll start my own. I'll start my own scout organization. I'll start my own. You know. Oh, I don't that's, give a that's, fuck. That's what the Mormon like church is doing. They're starting their own. They're starting their own. Yeah. yeah, they are called just like all religions, including Judaism, Christianity, every one of them. Yeah, it's well, be, that's, that's where I start Christian. pissing off everybody. Here. I mean, the argument. <laughs> I don't care. Is not, the argument, I'm an atheist. The argument is not yeah. about religion. The argument is that the uh, scouts, who has uh, a population of certain people one of their biggest populations is the mormon church it just happens well, it is about religion you said it's, it's not. not it is it's all it's about religion it's not yeah. about religion so you're saying that they're going to lose a lot of scouts because of this uh the, the split i think so yeah it goes against their ideological religious principles yeah, so it well, is about religion uh, or at least a significant part of it. i i was told and their desire not to join the 20 uh, the 21st century I, yeah. I was told that the reason women wanted to get into the scouts was that it was more desirable to be an Eagle Scout, and they wanted to attain uh, that rank. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so by letting them in, it was a more uh, a prestigious well, rank. I, I happen to have two gold award-winning Girl Scouts as daughters. My mother was in the Girl Scouts. What, what is the Girl Scouts equivalent of the Gold Award? Uh, Eagle? Gold Award. Yeah. Gold Award. Award. There are, 5.4% of all Girl Scouts achieve gold award. I yeah. wonder if the Girl Scouts won't go the way of the dinosaur in the ensuing years, like the Boy Scouts evidently are. Well, in, in a way, in a, in a way, they are... I hope they do. Uh, they, I'm big into the Girl Scouts. No, but in a way, they are an anachronism. You know, Ooh. I mean, I think if they're of another time. Uh, I, the, the Scouts. Uh, no. Girl and Boy Scouts, no. they're, they're of another no. time. The Girl Scouts, you guys are, have nothing, you know nothing about Girl Scouts. Tell Not, us. <laughs> I mean, tell us. I don't know anything it's, it's about the, it. It's the premier uh, group within uh, America that molds girls and their values, and, no. and uh, it helps young girls grow into young women. I know. So you people, don't think this co ed scout organization can't accomplish that? No. And then some, considering the oh. fact that they not only have to work with other women, other young women, they have to work with other young boys no. and men and no. other uh, people of no. various at persuasions some point, and ideologies. At some point we, no, I don't. At some point, we need to separate men and women. Everything doesn't have to be an amalgamation. Um, uh, you know, some no. sort of amalgamation. Some sort of. I'm wait a minute, this. hold on. When their kids everything are going to do it anyway. Everything doesn't have to be a blob. There, that works. Blob. We don't need when their them. kids are going to do we it anyway. They're going to separate them anyway. Boy, I'll we tell you, more paper has been used on this program today than ever in the history of this program. But when you take women and, and men to fast food joints, they all wind up looking like bulbs anyhow. Yeah. This is yeah. a green show. <laughs> yeah. It uh, was a green show. Jeff, anything today. you want to say? Because you've been very quiet tonight. You've just been listening. Well, that's what I'm I smart. But uh, I'm very happy that uh, I got four granddaughters. And they and they seem to like me, even though I'm a guy. Yeah. And were they scouts? No, but I was a scout. Were you a scout, really? Yeah. On your honor, do you? What, what is that? Uh, on my honor, I. 
whatever mm-hmm. to God. Do my duty to God and my country. God and my country. The God and my country scout. part got, gets to me. Actually, I'm an Eagle Scout. You, you really? Are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I didn't make it that far. Stars. And and how many uh, how many of your uh, merit uh, tro- troop troop uh, uh, troops? Uh, what do they call the head of the troop? The guys who are the head of the troops? Troop scout masters. Master. Scout scout master. Master. How many scout masters did you have to blow for that? It's three. As a three. <laughs> Only three. <laughs> Under the tent table. Uh, as an Eagle Scout, did you have to do a project or something? Yeah, I did. What was it? Uh, the, uh, the church, the, the Catholic church that we went to, the schools picked uh, benches for lunch. There were like 30 of them were in shambles. So I repaired them all mm-hmm. and painted them all and organized like 20 kids to do it like wow. over three weekends. Oh, very nice. And My so, daughter's doing her silver right now. Yeah. So uh, 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 I guess you were happy to be an Eagle Scout, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a great. I mean, it was a lot of work. Yeah, maybe 1% of uh, it attain that. Yeah, I mean, it's a commitment. you got to get a ton of merit badges, which actually take many hours to earn. You know, I mean, you got to. My mom kind of pushed me, but, yeah, I did it. I wanted to do it. Uh, well, I heard someone say his daughter. I heard someone say his daughter doing her silver. Uh, yeah, my daughter is. She was working in a park the last two, three nights. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, uh, Ray. Uh, you're an Eagle Scout. Right. On the other side of that is adulthood. All right. Did any of what you learned doing that carry over into your adulthood? Oh yeah. It, it, there Perseverance. Were less... Never quitting when you want uh, when things get hard and and you feel like you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, in in terms of the outdoors, I can camp, survive anywhere. I know I I know like what to eat, what knots to tie, how to find. It also teaches you like common sense when you're in a difficult situation, especially in the in the wilderness or yeah stuff like that. And I've had I to got use a scar it here from Boy Scouts. <laughs> this scar right here was when I got from Boy Scouts. You you know what the Jewish a night. you were Boy Scout Jewish right? Eagle Kevin? Scout is making what? reservations. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Brian, I assume you weren't a Boy Scout. I tried it for a year. I didn't like it. What didn't you like about it? You know, people. Oddly enough, I've been doing I've been doing talk shows for uh, 62, 63 years of my life. Been doing shows. In all that time, I have never had a discussion with a bunch of people on scouting. So this <laughs> it's about time. This is a first. Absolute yeah. first. I mean, you know, I've got like uh, one, two, three <gasps> People here of the of the six who were scouts. I was a Cub Scout. You were a Cub oh, Scout, well, so you were a Scout too. I never got to be a Scout, as I say, because Cub, of, Cub is before a uh, 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 boy. Right, right. Yeah. And, and what uh, what is a bear cub? What is that? Is, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, brownies? Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. Cub, cub Scouts. Scouts. Cub Scouts. Brownies are the girls, yeah. Yeah, brownies. Are the girls. Oh, it's a donut. Cub Scouts, and then what? Then. I, huh? That's Scientologists. And Scientologists, yeah. How about you guys still got your stuff, scouts. though? Oh, hey, I just looked. The, the time is starting to run out here. I All better right. start running some kind of a, a, a version of my theme song. Uh, go, my wow. <clears throat> it's been quite a night. SG, you got to call more often. You piss the shit out of us. You know? <laughs> yeah, you Never see, again will I that. Show the uh, ladies out there your pecs again or your, or your muscle there. Look, there's a there's a uh, there's a muscle for you. You can beat the crap out of me. Uh, thank you, SG. Come stuff. back again and call us, will you? Maybe we can figure out where you're from some night. Uh, uh, Jeff, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, that's Jeff Stein. He calls the show quite often. SG, uh, Brian, want to hear from you more? Your outrage is something we cherish on this program, you know. And, and I'll talk to your parole officer about getting you on the show a little more yeah, often. Yeah, okay? and, and 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 we can get those that. restraining orders. We can get those restraining orders lifted so you can go out after dark. Uh, that would imply that I want Ray, to go. I'm, gl- after I'm glad you came back. I don't like you to get upset because, uh, quite frankly, uh, you're a big we asset to us when you're here, you know. 
And no, but, I, I I wasn't upset. I, I had to go loop on my stretch marks, like I said. And, okay. And I, also, <laughs> uh, we got to say good night to our good friend Kevin as well. Uh, it's been uh, been really terrific. And yes, what is that corn something? Something corn with the corn with the something with the corn. Any children of the corn? Hey, children of the corn, uh, give a big wave goodbye to everybody so they can see and remember your faces so if they see you in the street they can go to the other side of that street bye uh that's our uh, that's our uh, that's our that's our big uh, g- gathering for this evening uh terrific show tonight god and uh very little very little trump and a lot of uh, other stuff and there is other stuff in this world to talk about folks and we try to get to it as well I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, I'm getting everything ready for the next show, which happens to be Jack and Amy with The Intersection, followed at 1 o'clock in the morning with Connections. That's a program uh, coming out of Florida, and uh, they have a great show. And then tomorrow night, 9.30, it's Damien with The Exchange, and then at 10 o'clock, I'll be back, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.